What's up guys, today we are gonna build the ultimate battle configuration using the two products right in front of me. We have the Reflex Backpack, the Sector Chest Rig, and we're gonna combine both of these guys to make the ultimate airsoft setup. Let's get straight into it. First things first, you're gonna get the Reflex Backpack and we're gonna wanna locate the light chest rig straps that's going to be the small straps right here these are the two straps that we're going to use to attach the sector chest rig in today's video the backpack does come with two other straps there's going to be a medium length this is going to be where you're going to adjust your ab abdomen this is how you can be comfortable whether it's loosening it or tightening it this is going to be on the abdomen and then the long straps is going to be already attached to the backpack for the shoulder straps so there's going to be a long a medium and a short strap included in the backpack next step we're gonna fully remove the clip assembly attached to the shoulder straps and we are gonna unclip the bottom buckles of the shoulder straps as well so these straps are completely off the bag all right guys so this is exactly how your reflex backpack should look before we get to the next step All right, guys, on to the next step. We can move the backpack out of the way for this step. Let's bring in the sector chest rig and the two small straps because we will need these two small straps to be able to do this next step. What we're gonna wanna do is disengage all the clips on this bad boy. So there's four at the bottom. Let's unclip the four plastic ones at the bottom and then let's unclip the two metal clips at the top. And we're gonna need these two male, the male sides of the metal clips because we're gonna attach these to the small straps right here to my right. All right guys, now that we have the chest rig straps disengaged, I'm gonna show you how to pull off the male versions of the metal clips. You're just gonna take the adjustable strap, pull it through, pull it through, super easy. And then we're just gonna pull it through one more time. Then this bad boy is all the way out and then you're able to just pull this bad boy off super simple. Then weave it through one more time. And then you're gonna have it off completely right here. And we're gonna do it again on the other side. And now we'll have both the male sides completely out by themselves and we can get rid of the shoulder straps for the chest rig right now. On to the next step. We're gonna take our two small straps right here and we're basically gonna replace the plastic clips with the metal clips. And we're gonna wanna do this from the adjustable strap side. So to do this same thing, just like we did with the other straps, we're just gonna weave this strap out very easily here. We're gonna pull it out from the little strap and then we're gonna push out the strap and then we're gonna pull out right here. And then now we have the plastic clip off where we're gonna put the metal clip and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then now we have the plastic straps off and then we're gonna install the male metal straps onto these right now. I like to have the nose facing up of the clip cause we're gonna come in up through that side and then we're gonna push down on the back side. And we're just gonna pull through, it's that simple. There's also a nice little elastic band here. Once you have it adjusted right, you can pull the elastic band over to secure it. And I'll do the same thing on the other side, super easy coming from the bottom. And then we're gonna weave it back down and then we're gonna pull it down. Now you have the metal clips installed on the short straps. Now we're finally ready to start attaching the chest rig to the Reflex backpack. What we're gonna need, of course, are the small straps right here. We're not gonna want it full length like this and you're not gonna wanna tighten it too tight yet. I recommend just right in the middle right here. And what we're gonna do here is take the plastic side and we're gonna engage it right here, click it in, and then we're gonna weave it through the elastic straps right here. We're gonna weave it through one, and we're gonna weave it through a second one. And then once you're weaved through all the way, you're gonna wanna make sure you're gonna have that adjustable pull tab because depending on how tight you pull that or how loose you do that, that way you can either have an abdominal chest rig or you can pull it really tight and have a chest, true chest rig. So you're gonna be able to mix and match and play with that depending on your body type and your size. We're gonna do the same thing with the other side. We're gonna get the plastic side here. Now that it's all the way Weave through like this. We're gonna go ahead and put the actual chest rig up here. And then we're just gonna clip it in really easy. Nice clip. Nice clip. And now the top part is attached. We're gonna move on to the next step. 
Finally, we're at the last step to fully connect the chest rig to the backpack. What you're gonna need to do is just locate the medium length straps that were included with the backpack. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna find the bottom of the chest rig, the two bottom clips, and the two bottom clips from the backpack. We're gonna go ahead and connect the bottom of the chest rig, bottom of the backpack, and this way you can make this as snug as possible or loose as possible so that way the bottom of the backpack's not flopping around. You can have that nice and tight on your body while you're playing airsoft and or speedsoft. We're gonna go ahead and connect the other side. Bottom of the chest rig, very bottom of the backpack. We're clipped on and we're ready for action, guys. This is exactly how you connect the backpack to the sector chest rig, guys. Go out there, have fun. Play some airsoft, play some speedsoft, and remember to buy HK, guys. Thank you for watching. Let's go.